we've gone too far down that road, John. Uh, it's irreparable at, at present. Uh, it's going to be a, a very long uh, month of blue moons uh, before there's anything like amity and fraternity reintroduced to the royal family. The Sussexes have gone too far or have allowed others to go too far for them. Times has revealed that Harry and Meghan are planning a number of new projects with Netflix. They include a film and two other unscripted projects, it's reported. We're joined by the former BBC royal correspondent, Michael Cole. Hello to you, Michael. Good evening. Michael, welcome. What can you tell us then about Harry and Meghan and the Netflix deal and how it's uh, evolving and moving? Well, this new film, which I've had the uh, pleasure of looking at on your behalf, is a very odd production, 55 minutes, quite glossy, very supportive and sympathetic to the Sussexes in their hilltop Camelot in California. But it asks none of the hard questions. Uh, it's not even mentioned the fact that uh, allegations of racism at the very top of the royal family, which have been made uh, in the names of Harry and Meghan in Endgame, uh, a book recently published by Omid Scobie, regarded as their spokesperson on Earth, uh, that isn't raised at all. And at the end of the program, uh, they run an interview with Harry and Meghan at the time of their engagement, in which uh, Meghan says that Catherine is wonderful. Uh, and Harry says that his brother and his father, now King, um, could not have shown more strong and solid support. So it's rather strange, the whole thing. Uh, I've looked at it. It's got the usual quota of talking heads, most of them we know and love, of course, but it doesn't really take us very much further. There are some telling sideswipes uh, about racism and colonialism in the royal family. I'm not quite sure how uh, relevant that is, but it does come in. And um, Bonnie Greer, who's a very well-respected playwright and um, broadcaster in this country, brings up the interview, perhaps a notorious interview or wonderful interview, depending on your point of view, uh, they gave with Oprah Winfrey. And Bonnie Greer, who comes from Chicago, says that Oprah Winfrey expresses the American point of view when Meghan makes the allegation that uh, within the royal family, there were questions asked about the potential colour of the skin of her then unborn first child, uh, Prince Archie. And of course, if you saw that and you looked at it uh, and you saw Oprah Winfrey stagely drop her jaw and say, what? I mean, she was an actress. She was in The Colour Purple, of course, and maybe other productions. But that looked to me to be a bit of uh, rather ham acting. But Bonnie Greer, says that that actually represents yeah. the British, the American point of view. In a nutshell, Michael, what will this documentary mean for the relationship with the, the royal household? Or is it, is, is it now irrelevant because the bridge has been burned? Yeah, well, I think uh, we've gone too far down that road, John. Uh, it's irreparable at, at present. Uh, it's going to be a, a very long uh, month of blue moons uh, before there's anything like amity and fraternity reintroduced to the royal family. The Sussexes have gone too far or have allowed others to go too far for them. One can never say never. Uh, there's always uh, a welcome home for the prodigal son, but uh, it's not gonna happen soon. But what that, interestingly, what the film does show, it shows inadvertently, the old Prince Harry, the happy prince, enjoying himself. It also shows the brilliant and wonderful wedding that they had at St George's Chapel, Windsor, when people stood 20 deep uh, in Windsor Great Park to welcome them. And when you think of that and how we've come in a very, very short time to where we are now, it is the greatest pity. 
it's dreadful when families fall apart. Yeah. There's one of the worst one of the worst things you can ever see is brothers fighting. But there you are. That's what we have. All right, Michael, thank you for your thoughts. Michael Cole there, the former BBC Royal Correspondent.